Yo, what's going on guys? It's Danny here and we're gonna do BFD Black Fathom Deeps with the rogue. This is gonna be big deeps. Big deeps run. Because we have got a shaman. He's gonna put totem that gives 20 strength. Absolutely perfect. I have already done the dungeon once, so I got the sword that's a quest reward from one of the bosses. One little boss uh, when you pick up another quest, when you pick up the quest item, it summons uh, a water elemental that will uh, drop a sword. I mean, that will drop a quest item that activates a quest and then the sword is the, one of the choices as a quest reward. So this is the best sword I can get at this level. It's a slow. It's exactly what I need for combat. Slow. This is what you want for combat. These are my leveling talents so far. Um, I'm doing them for leveling specifically. I have repost. It's... Uh, very important for leveling it's another attack that costs only 10, 10 energy and hits really hard have cooldown reduction on sprint and evasion evasion every three and a half minutes allows me to pull multiple mobs and not die for example and uh, sprint more often between places since i'm running around without a mount or anything like that so i've got this talent so far and uh, what you want on your main hand is a uh, hard hitting slow weapon doesn't have to be specifically a sword no reason to have a sword specifically until i have a sword specialization it can be a mace it can be whatever um slow hard hitting main hand just so you can hit cards in easter strikes and uh, reposts and enjoy enjoy leveling it's actually a lot faster than uh, with the priest with the priest i didn't stick to dungeons a lot i solo leveled and quested and stuff quite a lot um and now that i'm doing with it with with the rogue again uh the rogue is faster than the priest rogue is still not the fastest leveler but it's faster than the priest and i love it it's faster outside Priest is like really good to heal dungeons and you get dungeon XP which is really good experience per hour from dungeons. Objective as always, try to deal the most damage, most damage done, which is very doable when we have big buff from the shaman. Shamans are gonna be like the best friend, later on they're good, gonna put wind fury. I have Strength Totem, Wind Fury. This first boss turtle is very tanky for uh, physical damage dealers. This thing takes less physical damage. I'm hitting it for like 20 damage. Maybe I can rupture it with 5 combo points. It's a rank 1 rupture though. Yeah, rupture is not physical so... It will not get reduced by all the armor. Yeah, that's good. Uh, so after the first boss turtle, we would need to go here to pick up the quest from the NPC. The healer, the priest is here mainly for, for this quest because the quest reward actually gives a sick wand it's uh, this quest, I already took it in my previous run and this is the wand, I had it on my priest when I was leveling it, it's insanely good wand really fast and uh, big damage too, shadow damage wand I used it until, I, I got it at like level 25, 26 and I used it until until 38 or so that's the boss lady service that naga boss right there i can interrupt 
she cast some stuff I can interrupt. Oh, that crit, yo. 200 plus crits. Feels good. You should not be here. Interrupt that one. Blood Fury. Get one more combo point and eviscerate. Mm. 150 non crit. That's a good leveling gloves, leather. Strength, stamina, and spirit. I would equip them right now. I would lose two agility, but it's not a big deal. The hunter got them. They are just as good for him, for sure. I would lose two agility, but I gain stamina and uh, seven spirit, which is quite a lot, and it's uh, spirit is decent for leveling. Oh, that's nice pulling right there. He's pulling and LOSing them. Can interrupt it so it comes back. But we pulled another. Uh, this is actually a little wiping room here. Pull back, sir. Trying to interrupt it so it stops casting and comes to us. It's actually not hard to pull the entire room here because you go to interrupt the caster and then another aggros you. And like that you can aggro everything. Look at those buffs we're getting though. The, the warrior battle shout, what's it called, battle, battle shout, agil, uh, attack power, and the, the 20 strength from the totem, from the shaman totem. Holy shit, I would, with a party like this, I would do dungeons all day. No wonder my... Abilities are hitting so hard. It's too far away. One bar until 28. Ding ding. Ding ding soon. Okay, I'm gonna save Blood Fury for the boss. And also for bosses, I will go stealth and use Garot. Now oh, we might pull the boss here. No, we didn't. No reason to stealth, I'm actually slowing and lowering my DPS if I stealth for every mob and try to Garot it. But I am going to do it on the boss. Okay, I'm in combat, so I'm not gonna do it on the boss. Let's clear ads fast, and then go boss. I'm ensnared. Nice reaction from the tank to uh, go taunt, because the mob was hitting the healer. And I lost combo points to switch target to interrupt, but it's okay. At the end of the day... I want it to go faster and smoother, so I will interrupt if I have to lower my DPS by one. But interrupt to help out. I'm okay with that. This is the boss that uh, drops the intellect and spirit stuff. Maybe the priest will get uh, apart from that huge one. He will get a stuff upgrade as well. It's an insane stuff. Oh, spirit buff. Seven spirit for you.
This is the Lord Kelris Twilight Lord. I'm gonna garrot him. Do we have something to clear? No, it's clear. It's only boss now. Let's go, boy. Who dares disturb my meditation? I'll interrupt the next cast. That cannot be interrupted. I kicked it. Well, I'm not an undead one step here either. Well. There goes my DPS on the boss. I don't think we interrupted that one either. Both me and the tank tried to interrupt. There is the staff. What's your weapon? Two stamina? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. This stuff is way better. 11 intellect and spirit. I was really happy when I got it with the priest. I was using it for dungeon healing. I'm surprised. Maybe he didn't do Wailing Caverns. I'm surprised he doesn't have the... Uh... I forgot the name, but from a Wailing Caverns quest. Or maybe he did the dungeon, but he didn't do the quest. The one that gives 7... 7, 7, 7. 7 stamina, spirit int. I was using this one for healing and that one for leveling and PvP and stuff. Now we have to turn on each of these uh, four fire of Akumai and mobs will spawn. Uh, it's very important to interrupt the uh, water elementals, at least one of them because they do huge aoe and this wipes you sometimes okay it's not now it's the next fire it will leave everyone at like 10 percent hp or so if they both do the aoe if it's not interrupted i remember having a little bit hard time healing it with the priest Born Baked, thank you for the 18 months. Thank you very much, brother. Thank you for the support. It means a lot. Thank you. Yo, I'm dying. Help. Nice. I'm gonna stay in the middle and go to the one that's far. I think one spawns on each side. So I'll go to the one that others are not on it. Okay, it's not this one either. It's the next one. Just see hypes. Mana break. If we interrupt, he doesn't need mana right now. He won't need mana break. I'm gonna go for the right one. Uh, I'm gonna go for the left one, nobody's on it. This is what's important to interrupt, the volley. The other one did cast it, I think. And everyone got like half HP almost instantly. It's AoE. So if they both get to cast it, that's that gets a bit dangerous. 
So now that we have uh, unlocked every each one of these four fires and we have cleared the mobs, the door opens and we are on the way to the last boss. We're almost done. Almost done with the dungeon. It's not bad XP. I mean, it's... I was two bars away or three from 28. Now I'm 28 and three bars, so... Okay, let's get this done. Shit. I don't know if I could interrupt that. But I was late. I probably can. I was just late. It's okay. This time we're gonna kill it. No problem. Heal, Mr. Priest. Heal. Okay, use your Blade Fury, Mr. Rogue. Nice. Jesus, the pet is running into stuff all the time. This pet is insane. We're done with BFD. No more of that dungeon now. Done with it. Next one will be RFK. Level 30, 31. So if you guys enjoyed the run, a like on the video would be appreciated as always. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I upload videos very often here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day. Also follow on Twitch. I forgot. <laughs>